evaporation. In this module, we will study about evaporation. The process of conversion of water into its vapor is called evaporation. Evaporation occurs from the surface of a liquid. Separating mixture of salt and water. Take the mixture of salt in water in a beaker and cover it with a lid. Now gently heat the beaker for some time. Heating transforms water quickly into vapor that escapes from the surface of the water. Continue heating till all the water gets converted into vapor and only salt is left behind in the beaker. Thus, salt dissolved in water can be separated from the water through the process of evaporation. Filtration Let us study about filtration. Filtration is a mechanical or physical process which is used for the separation of solids from liquids by interposing a medium through which only the fluid can pass. For example, we separate tea leaves from the prepared tea with a strainer. Simple method for removing suspended impurities from the liquid is filtration. It is the process of removing an insoluble substance from a liquid by allowing it to pass through a filter paper or fine cloth or strainer. The filter paper is similar to blotting paper. It contains many small holes. These holes are large enough to allow water to pass through but do not allow particles of insoluble substances like chalk powder, clay etc. We separate paneer from the liquid by filtering the mixture through a fine cloth or a strainer. Hand picking In this lesson, we will discuss about hand picking. Before cooking pulse, we remove stone pieces, husk and other grains from the pulse with our hands. This method of hand picking is used for separating slightly large sized impurities like the pieces of dirt, stone and husk from wheat, rice or pulses. The method of hand picking can be used for separating impurities that are easily visible to the naked eye and are present in small quantity in the form of dirt, husk and stone. Sedimentation and Decantation The process of settling down of heavier insoluble particles from a mixture is called sedimentation. Decantation is a process for the separation of mixtures by removing the top layer of the liquid from which a heavier component has settled. Lighter impurities like dust or soil particles in rice or pulses are removed by sedimentation. In this lesson, we will discuss about sedimentation and decantation in detail. This method is used for separating an insoluble solid from a liquid. To separate a mixture of sand and water. Take a mixture of sand and water in a beaker. Allow the mixture to stand for some time undisturbed. You will observe that the sand particles start settling down at the bottom of the beaker forming sediment. The clear liquid stands above the sediment. It is gently poured off into another beaker without disturbing the sediment. This process of transforming the clear liquid without disturbing sediments is known as decantation. Threshing 
Let us study about threshing. Threshing is the process of removing the grain from straw or stalk. Threshing is done by beating the stalk to free the grain seeds. In this lesson, we will discuss about threshing in detail. The harvested crop is threshed to separate the grain from its stalk. The threshing of paddy is traditionally carried out by beating the harvested crop with sticks. On the other hand, the threshing of wheat and other crops is carried out by treading the crops with animals such as bullocks and buffaloes. However, in case of big fields, threshing is done by using threshers. The method of using threshers is not only economical but also quicker and more efficient than treading with animals. Winnowing In the previous module, you learned about threshing. Let us now learn about winnowing. Winnowing means removing the dry, thin outer covering of the grain known as the chaff. It is also used to remove weevils or other pests from stored grain. In this lesson, we will discuss about winnowing in detail. This method is generally used by farmers to separate grain from husk after threshing. The farmers allow the mixture of grain and the husk to fall from a height. The grains which are heavier fall vertically down on the ground. The husk which is lighter is carried away by the wind and forms a separate heap at a short distance from the heap of grains. Winnowing is often done on a breezy day so that the chaff easily gets separated from the grain.